guys. I know it's been a while. Sorry about that. It's probably been like three weeks. I have been extremely busy with work and traveling. And I am about to head out. Actually, not to the gym, but to run. We are in full marathon training. So today we're going to do six miles. A couple of us. Hopefully, it goes well. As you can see, windows are all foggy. It's like 40 degrees out. Um, not looking forward to this run. Last week, we had high 70s, mid 60s. And we're in May. Um, so this should be fun. A fun, slow run. So, Okay, guys, I'm back from my run. It's going to be kind of hard to um, kind of take the camera or my phone with me because I use my Nike app to track my mouse so it's not going to be like at the gym where I can put you on a box or on the floor and you can see me doing a workout. It's not going to work like that so these videos are going to be much shorter than the other ones but we did six miles today. Um, it was pretty good. I was feeling pretty pretty good the most of the way. The last mile was pretty tough. But I've noticed, too, that when I start slowing down, um, or when I start, actually, when I start feeling like my lower back, my hips tightening up, I need to actually just open up my gait more. And I was running with my friend, and she was saying that's why she kind of run, run ahead of us. She was just trying to really kind of open it up. And I should have done that, too. And I know that I just totally just forgot to do it. I might just keep pushing through. But when you actually open it up, your pace, of course, increases, but it just really opens up the hips. So we did six miles and we went and ate breakfast. And I went and got my feet measured. And I got some new shoes. So I want to show you my new shoes. Okay. First of all, I'll show you the old ones, which probably shouldn't have been running in those anyways. But these are Reeboks. Um... I can't remember what, which one these are. Let's see. Wait a minute. I think it's like Reebok, some type of Reebok Fusion or something like that. But it's very narrow, as you can see. Goose poop on it, but the, the sole is very narrow. I have a very flat, big foot. Okay? So I knew I needed to get a bigger... Uh, Great, so mine a freaking motorcycle. I know I needed to get a different shoe um, that lets my feet kind of spread out more and supports my arch because I have a flat, flat arch. So, went down to a place called Second Soul in Akron. See that on the back? Probably backwards, but Second Soul. Got a new pair of shoes. And the guy there was like, don't get a man's shoe, which normally what I would get because it makes me feel better when I have to get a nine and a half instead of having to get a 12. Oh, I'm looking for a 12. Let's see if we have that in a woman's. Normally they don't, so that really sucks. But, new shoes. They look huge though. These are the Brooks GTS 19 Adrenaline. I knew I was going to get a Brooks because I went online and was trying to figure out what's a good shoe for me. You know, low arch Brooks came up. Brooks in like a New Balance one. So I went there. The guy measured my foot, both feet, I mean. And he had me run twice a short distance so he could watch my gait. Very happy about that because that's what I, I asked him. Like, how does it look? He's like, it looks really good. I, he thought he was going to have to give me an insole because of how much pronounced, like, the insole of my foot was kind of coming over. And that's normally what it does. Like, I'll show you my feet. They're not the greatest. Anyways, you can't even see them. But, this insole part would come over a lot and shoot. And that's why I have, like, a, I'll have, like, these red kind of burns or blisters under them. This shoe, I ran it so great just immediately, like... It has in here like this cushion support. It has the support around the heel that I'm really happy about. 
Um, I knew the shoe was going to be expensive. I was like, you have to spend the money on it. I want to probably get another shoe because... Like he was saying that you should give the shoe, you should trade out every other day. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do that. If I can find this shoe online, I will. Um, hopefully it doesn't cost as much. This shoe is like 130 bucks. But, again, I'm going to be a lot of training and running a marathon. I plan to get a shoe. And even when I went to like Dick's and looked at the Brooks, because I knew that was the shoe I, was, I should be getting for my foot type, 120 130 I knew that's what I was going to end up spending. So I just bite the bullet and get it. What I'm not happy about was, he said, like, you need to get these socks, which, idiot. Once I get something new, I'm like, oh, okay, just get whatever else new with it, too. But I feel like my socks, too, weren't really helping. I got these copper time socks or copper tone. And I'm supposed to have the copper in it help. And they just really were rubbing up against my foot. So... He got me this Swift wick, and they were on sale for like, you get three, not really on sale, buy three, you get one free. These freaking socks were like 14 bucks a piece. I should have asked, normally I would ask, but I was like, oh, just get them. Fucking idiot. $14 for a pair of socks? These better be the best damn socks ever. Um, light cushion, firm compression, breathable design. They better fucking help. So I got gray, orange. I only normally get white and black socks. Blue and white. So we're set with socks. I may get another shoe a um, couple weeks so I can switch out of these. But I'm now that I know what I got, need um, I'm probably going to switch out and just buy those online. Hopefully for cheaper or get another one close to this because the other one was the Brooks Adrenaline, or I think it was the Brooks uh, Ghost. So that's about it. I am going to take a shower and rest for the rest of the day. My friends are doing meal prep this week, so I don't have to cook anything, which is great. Last week I did my own meal prep. I still have food left over for that, so um, I'll probably be freezing some food that they cook for me and I think that's about it I do have my friend's birthday party her son he's turning three their son is turning three so that's it I, it's going to be hard guys to well do any video while I'm running because I don't have a, a camera I just have my phone um if I get some more subscriptions maybe but it's it's going to be before I run and after that's pretty much it. So I'm going to wrap this up now and I will see you guys next week.